I've got that uh, app on my phone where you can set it to a little afternoon thunderstorm and listen to that. I do that too. <laughs> there you go. Take a live look at Monument this morning. That's a pretty peaceful shot right there. Roads are dry. We've seen a few light snow showers. Now we have seen a little heavier snow up to the north towards Castle Rock and into the Denver Metro this morning. We'll go ahead and take a look at our current live radar here and you can see it's light and monument a little thicker as you make your way up to I-25 and then light scattered snow showers Highland Ranch and into the Denver Metro south though of monument it's basically on the dry side Colorado Springs all the way down to Pueblo and that's uh, looking at right now now we are expecting another round of snow showers as we go into the afternoon and evening we'll take a look at our future track uh, coming up 27 Colorado Springs 25 Pueblo 19 Leadville 22 in Lyman it's cold this morning we're not going very far as we head into the afternoon highs will climb into the mid 30s around Colorado Springs low 40s Denver Pueblo 26 Leadville upper 40s out across the plains and as we look at our future cast that's kind of pairing up nicely maybe a little bit spread further to the east there than what we're actually uh, seeing with radar this morning that first batch will dwindle and then we'll see another round of showers as we go into the afternoon and evening Teller County northern El Paso a few rain and snow showers down to the southeast towards La Junta and Lamar and even this evening at 8 p.m. some light snow showers so on grassy areas it's certainly possible that we pick up a quick one inch maybe two inches of snow on grass areas. It's been so warm that I don't think we're going to see a whole lot stick to roadways, but we'll keep you posted on that. By early Wednesday morning, it's all dropping down to the south, coming to an end, clearing and very cold tomorrow morning. We're down into the teens for starts here in Colorado Springs and many areas into the low 20s. So cold and snow showers for your Tuesday. Here's that trough of low pressure. You can see that dip in the jet stream. By Wednesday, high pressure begins to build. We're right there on that dividing line between the cooler air and the warmer air. So it's a little bit of a warm up tomorrow afternoon and then as that high pressure ridge expands and builds across the four corners we've got a nice looking warming trend Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We'll start our next future cast tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. and you will notice that all of the precipitation pretty much gone out of southern Colorado as we work our way into the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine still on the cool side and clear and cool as we head overnight into Thursday morning. Tomorrow morning midweek lows are going to be in the teens and low 20s. 21 Denver. We're down to 1 in Leadville, 9 in Gunnison, 24 in La Junta tomorrow morning. Again, below average temperatures tomorrow, but warmer than today. We're back into the upper 40s around Colorado Springs to the mid 50s around Pueblo. 55 Lamar and 48 tomorrow in Lyman. Now as we look down the road for Woodland Park, again, snow and snow showers this afternoon and this evening. Cold overnight, 11 degrees, up to 43 tomorrow afternoon. But then as we head towards the weekend, we've got 59 Friday, low and mid 60s for Woodland Park coming up Saturday and Sunday. Canyon City, expect that you're going to see some showers around this evening, maybe a light little dusting of snow back into the low 50s on Wednesday and then we soar into the upper 60s low and mid 70s even close to 80 degrees by Sunday afternoon 54 Wednesday we are in the upper 70s and low 80s for Pueblo this weekend Saturday and Sunday Colorado Springs a round of snow this afternoon this evening then cold overnight by Thursday we're back into the mid 60s and down the road upper 60s and low 70s for a four day stretch there and right now it looks pretty quiet into the middle of next week guys back over to you